Invest in success with Pub Quiz Prep. The education you want, the education you deserve. Hello and welcome back to Pub Quiz Prep, the trivia training school that allows you to reach the very magnitude, if you will, of your true potential. Now, I had a request from a Sarah Kimball this week. Now, she says, maybe you could do different subjects to practice areas we aren't as good at, like geography, history, science, music, etc. All right. So that is a fabulous suggestion, Sarah. And thank you so much for doing your trivia training with Pub Quiz Prep. I think you may have also been the one that suggested we do that round about the Penn State University, which has proven to be such a success. It has almost hit uh, 270 views. So I tell you what, strap yourselves in for more. Uh, great. Well, excellent suggestion, Sarah. Let's dive straight on in to a subject specific round of trivia training. So here we go. The subject that we'll be focusing on for this round is history. Let's dive straight on in. Question number one. So the Rosetta Stone contains two ancient Egyptian tests. The Rosetta Stone contains two ancient Egyptian texts. And what other language? The Rosetta Stone contains two ancient Egyptian texts, but what other language? Question two, in what year was Martin Luther King Jr. killed? In what year was Martin... I tell you what, we have a little bit of uh, air traffic going over at the moment. That will be a helicopter landing on the nearby hospital, I suspect. Or perhaps it could be Dick Smith doing another flyover of this house, possibly to circumnavigate the globe for a second time. But either way, it's just causing a little bit of background noise and I would hate to uh, have your trivia training disturbed by the sound of a helicopter. Although that being said, often when you do do a pub quiz, you're distracted by the sounds. The sounds of the person behind you uh, munching down on a chicken schnitzel. The sound of uh, a person three tables down spilling a rattler over someone accidentally. Or any other array of sounds. But I tell you what, I think... I think that helicopter's uh, left, so here we go. Question number two. In what year was Martin Luther King Jr. killed? In what year was Martin Luther King Jr. killed? Question three. Novelist D.H. Lawrence. Lens maker Carl Zeiss. Bassist Victor Wooten. Norwegian DJ Kygo and rugby league player Jared Croker all share what birthday? That question again. Novelist D.H. Lawrence. Lens maker Carl Zeiss if I've pronounced that correctly. Bassist Victor Wooten, Norwegian DJ Kygo, and rugby league player Jared Croker all share what birthday? Mixing it up now with question four. With construction starting in AD 122, Hadrian's Wall was erected in what present day country? Question four. With construction starting in AD 122, Hadrian's Wall was erected in which present day country? Question number five. Due to its extremely uncomfortable ride, the Bone Shaker was the name given to the first type of what? Due to its extremely uncomfortable ride, the Bone Shaker is the name given to the first type of what? Which of these started first? The Korean War? or the Vietnam War? Which of these started first, the Korean War or the Vietnam War? Question number seven. Are uh, Abbas Ibn Furness, Sekio and John Damien all linked due to the fact that they married their own sister? Or did they all independently develop a functional underwater breathing apparatus? Or did they all make early attempts at flight often using bird feathers, which frequently resulted in fractured bones. That question one more time. Are uh, Abbas, Ibn Furness, Secchio and John Damien all linked due to the fact that they married their own sister? They all independently developed a functional underwater breathing apparatus, or they all made early attempts at flight, often using bird feathers, which frequently resulted in fractured bones. Question number eight. Weighing 390 kilograms, the Soviet Union's Luna 2 was the first spacecraft to do what in 1959? Weighing 390 kilograms, the Soviet Union's Luna 2 was the first spacecraft to do what in 1959? 
On July the 4th, 1776, the United States Declaration of Independence announced that 13 sovereign states considered themselves no longer under the rule of whom? On July the 4th, 1776, the United States Declaration of Independence announced that 13 sovereign states no longer considered themselves under the rule of whom? Question number 10, joining the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In what decade did the Panama Canal open? Joining the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, in what decade did the Panama Canal open? Just take a moment there to finalize your answers. And here we go. So the Rosetta Stone, so it contained two ancient Egyptian texts and also ancient Greek. Now, the year that Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, 1968. Bonus point if you can tell me what president initiated a Martin Luther King Day. Ronald Reagan. I think I have that right. Okay, question three. So, uh, what birthday do D.H. Lawrence, Carl Zeiss, Victor Wooten, Kygo, and Jared Croker all share? They were all born on the 11th of September. So, with construction that started in AD 122, Hadrian's Wall was erected in which present-day country? England. Due to its incredibly uncomfortable ride, the bone shake was the name given to the first type of pedal-powered bicycle. Now, which started first, the Korean or the Vietnam War? The Korean War in 1950. Vietnam was 1955. Now, Abadas, Abin, Furness, Sekio, and John Damien are all people who made early attempts at flight, often using bird feathers, which often resulted in fractured bones. So, weighing 390 kilos, the Luna 2 was the first spacecraft to land on the moon. Okay, so on July the 4th, 1776, the United States Declaration of Independence announced that 13 sovereign states considered themselves no longer under the rule of the Kingdom of Great Britain. And in fact, the, uh, the stripes on the US flag represent these 13 states. So joining the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, in what decade did the Panama Canal open? The 1910s, and the year was 1914. Well, I hope everyone, including Sarah, enjoyed that round of specific trivia training. Stay tuned for a geography round in the weeks to come. Until then, have a wonderful week. Bye for now. Take control of your trivia training and subscribe to Pub Quiz Prep today. Thank you for playing Pub Quiz Prep. Question everything. I regularly go home with the meat trays now.